Tori Golden Thread Tarot. How are you doing? I hope that this message is finding you blessed and abundant. Oh, I'm feeling very chill, very kind of low, not low vibe, but just kind of chill vibe today. So, um, <laughs> today we are um, continuing the installment of channeled messages based on the heart, uh, based on the chakra meditations, excuse me, that I received uh, channeled messages through. And as you guys can see, there seems to be like a pretty singular story that's coming out of here. I feel like most of you, I feel like a lot of you who are drawn to these videos will actually be able to resonate with this in some kind of way, maybe not directly fat for fat, but there is some kind of something here for you guys. So you guys keep that in mind, okay? Um, this doesn't have to be exactly your story, or maybe perhaps it's the story of somebody who's around you that um, that you don't even realize that they're, they're going through something like this, okay? So just keep an open mind and keep an open heart. Of course, stay prayed up and protected, all right? So today we are doing the heart chakra. Um, as I kind of missed it before, we were doing the heart chakra. And the message that I got out of the heart chakra was a hug from your grandmother. Okay? So, and I really feel like um, I mentioned before in one of uh, the past um, channeled messages that there was a, a masculine who had a dream where one where one of a Passover loved one came to them. And I really feel like there is a kind of grandmotherly spirit that's around this person. It could be you, it could be your masculine, could be uh, anybody in between, right? So this grandmother came to this energy to kind of tell them to kind of guide them because they are a spirit guide of them. They came to them in a dream and they're like, I'm here presenting myself to you because you need to wake up. You need to see the truth. You need to see that you in the past were being misguided and you can, and you don't need to listen to these lies that certain people are telling you. You need to, you know, I just keep hearing that. Wake up, wake up, wake up, you know. So it really could have had to do with the crown chakra because that was the kind of tagline like wake up, like wake up divine masculine, right? So... I was also seeing, sorry, I'm looking at my notes down here. I'm, I'm also seeing the star card, the empress, the emperor, the page of pentacles, okay? The page of swords, the knight of swords, the six of cups, and oh, the page of swords is in reverse, by the way. Um, and then I was also sending, seeing the numbers 13, 24, 22, 21, 15, 45. So I know that 13 is the death card, right? So that kind of... We'll see if it comes out, right? It's indicative of like a major transformation or an end. It also could be indicative of the fact that this person is receiving messages from Passover loved ones. I'm playing a heart chakra meditation in the background for you guys, okay? Okay, we're going to start here with the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. And let's see what spirit wants to talk about this heart, this heart chakra meditation, okay? Let's get into... Let's get into it. I'm hearing blocked. Somebody is either physically blocked or they're feeling blocked about something. Um, Knight, be brave and honest and air guardian, shift your perspective. Hmm. Somebody is shifting, getting an honest perspective. Somebody is telling, uh, somebody is receiving a message. You're going to have to be brave. You're going to have to push yourself forward through this. I understand that it's going to be hard for you, but it's like this very much so like you're going to have to push yourself through this. You can do this. You have the strength inside of yourself to, to be this person. I'm also seeing like, a, like I'm hearing like a lion roar and I am, I'm seeing like the image of somebody like tucking somebody's hair like behind their ear, you know, in kind of a way where they'll kind of like tuck their hair out of their face and they're like, I miss you so much. I love you so much. Shit, I feel like I can cry. Um, you know, kind of like they're taking their hands like in their face like this. And this person feeling very safe and very warm. Um, I feel like this person, um, perhaps in their childhood or sometime in their life, was the only person that made them feel loved, that made them feel safe. Or just in this moment. It has been a really long time since this person has felt very safe and protected. And, um, oh my goodness. 
sorry you guys if crying makes you uncomfortable but um wow that was just so overwhelming um in a really good way it really feels like yeah this one just feels like i feel safe i feel warm i feel protected i feel like someone has their arms around me just giving me the deepest hug you know and it's just like did you guys ever ever have those moments where you're just going on going on and then somebody whether or not it is your grandmother or a friend or a family or you know there's somebody they're just like come here and they give you a hug and you realized in that moment you're just like wow I needed that so much and you didn't even realize how much you needed it how much you needed to feel protected how much you needed to feel supported in that moment because you were so busy trying to be so strong that you didn't realize that you felt like it had been a long time since you had kind of let your guard down and let yourself feel like vulnerable and let yourself feel like you were letting someone protect you wow Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Star ancestors, okay. Mm. Yeah. Follow the voice of your soul. You know, somebody feeling like, I, I feel alone, and this person's like, you're not alone. I'm always there with you, baby. Like, you're not alone. Yeah, right? Direction, um, direction, guardian, choose your path. Yeah, look, there's the lion, right? I said that I heard that lion. It's very much so, like, you're being so strong, you're being so brave, right? But you're going to have to keep being strong, keep being brave, and you have to understand that you are not alone, right? Yeah, heart guardians, or not heart guardians, sorry. <laughs> Earth guardian is what I was trying to say. But I, what I was about to say was, yes, this person is like have their hand on their heart like this, right? Yeah, stay rooted and grounded. Yeah, this person is very much so like, ground yourself there's also a big emphasis here on the third eye right um i'm feeling safe feeling protected feeling like listening to the messages that you're receiving because they're they're helping you guarding guiding you moving forward look at that oracle wait for important information right like you're getting these messages you're getting these intuitive guidances moving forward okay they want me to shuffle like this Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There it is. Heart guardian. <laughs> and high priest, intend and create. Right? So definitely somebody is, asked, is being asked at least to use their masculine energy. This is also the hierophant energy in this deck, right? Again, with the direction guardian, choose your path, right? And then the heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved, right? Feel that golden, you know, peaceful, angelic light around you, right? Fox spirit, trust your talents in changing times. Trust yourself. Trust the intuitive guidance and the intuitive messages that you're getting in this time, okay? Wow, take care of your needs. There's definitely like a, a kind of... Um, kind of fox, wolf, kind of like dog spirit around this person, perhaps... Perhaps I'm hearing like in your childhood, you might've had, in your childhood, you might've had um, very like a protective spirit around you. Um, perhaps maybe you had like um, a best friend that was a dog when you were younger and spirit is saying that this, this spirit is here for you, is here being with you now. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling so sappy today, you guys. I'm just crying all over the place. I guess it's this heart chakra. Yeah, embrace the energy of peace. Exactly. This spirit is around you now telling you that I'm here. I'm here guarding you. I'm here protecting you. So. I'm oh, sorry, you guys. This just rings so. This is so. That's so personal for me. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. <laughs> wow. Okay. Summer, bask in joy and light. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's something about your work. I heard get to work. Now, you you need to be busy with this. You need to keep yourself busy. Um, or maybe they're like, keep yourself busy on the right things, right? There's a very big sense of like you've been distracting yourself or this person has been distracting themselves from the truth of what's really happening in front of them, running away from facing the truth. And it's like, there's, you know, you don't need to run away anymore. It's fine to keep yourself busy, but keep yourself busy 
doing the right things, focusing on the right things for your life, right? Damn. Skyfather, trust the unknown. Yeah. And there's that shifting perspectives again, right? Fire, fire guardian, ignite your passions. Yeah. Focus on what you're really truly passionate about. What truly stirs your heart? What makes your heart sing with joy, right? Like, yeah. To take care of yourself, right? To take care of your needs. I'm hearing two more. Okay, oh, that's a lot. Let's scoot these over a little bit more. Okay, that wanted to show itself. Lady, enjoy, and, um, enjoy growth and reap rewards, okay? I keep seeing that. That wolf spirit card, that winter card, um, significant. There could be a really big significant jump from for you between winter and summer. Holy crap. And then this card jumped out again and literally jumped out on top of the of the summer card and then see things from a higher perspective. The eagle card came out again. Oh my gosh. And then on the back, you know, um, let go of the need to be right. So peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. Your peace is going to come when you allow your ego to, you know, to go to, um, to die. You know, when you go through your ego death and everything like that, and then elder move beyond ancestral patterns, this could have been a pattern that was passed down to them. Um, I'm hearing from, from other masculine, from masculine energies in their life, whether or not this person is a masculine or they're not, whether or not you're a masculine or you're not. Okay. And definitely. So there's a massive trusting, trusting in the, in the above trusting, um, and shifting perspectives here. See, and seeing from a higher perspective, there's a big shift here happening for you in between the summer and the winter. Um, now, this could be now, happening now, recently. You know, we're shifting over to the autumn phase right now, right? Um, from summer over into autumn. It's coming very, you know, I think it's next week um, or the week after. It's like a week and a half away or something like that. Um, shifting over and then shifting over into the winter, right? And there's going to be a big, massive, and there's a lot of, like, you need to trust. During this, this, this changing over of seasons, you need to trust in between this, right? Between basking in this light, and getting to work, right? Doing what you're being guided to do. This feel very, it's very much reminding me of the tower moment here with this lightning strike right there. I also just heard embarrassment. Somebody feels embarrassed about something. Okay. Um, somebody might be embarrassed about something because they could have manifested with this magician card and the ten of swords, some kind of betrayal. Okay. This person could have manifested some kind of betrayal into their life. Okay. They could have betrayed an empress. Okay. Or you could identify being the empress and you could be realizing that you manifested some kind of betrayal into your life or that you're just seeing the truth about... seeing if you are this empress okay i feel like you're seeing the truth about somebody who betrayed you and realizing that that realizing that that person manifested some kind of betrayal into your life and you didn't you didn't understand that that person they might not have been the direct cause of it but they were a person wishing that betrayal that that um uh, possibly like conflict between your family or like a friend of yours, like you and a friend might have fallen apart. And now you're feeling really betrayed because you're realizing that there was somebody that manifested that into your life for you. Okay. They could have been manifesting some kind of conflict into your life. And on the other side of it, I feel like whoever this person is that manifested this betrayal for this empress is feeling very ashamed of themselves because they're realizing um, that they shouldn't have done it. <laughs> They're just like, I wish I wouldn't have done it. I wish I could take it back kind of energy. Uh, maybe perhaps they didn't realize that this person was an empress when they betrayed them, when they caused this betrayal to happen into their life. Knight of Cups, okay? I feel like this was a Knight of Cups energy. Somebody, um, possibly even somebody that came into your life and breadcrumbed you, came in and out, back and forth out of your life. Um, they could have felt rejected by you and that might have been why. They felt rejected by you, so they manifest some kind of betrayal into your life. Tell me about this high priest. 
six of swords so this person is there's that six of cups okay all right six of cups um this person is really whoo whoops <laughs> my bangs got in my eye um this person I, I I feel like this person feels like they need some kind of protection. Look at this too. Look at this this eagle here on the end of their on the end of their boat, right? With this eagle here. It's like a shift in perspective. This person has had a shift in perspective. And now they're sent they're seeing what they what what intent that they sent out and what that created. And they really want to get, it's like they want to get away from that intent or they want to get away from that. Um, this person could want some kind of reconciliation or like I said, this person could have been somebody you knew from your childhood. They could have been an old friend, an old family friend, something like that. Or lovers in reverse, an ex-lover, like I said, somebody that you turned down, somebody that, um, you know, an ex of yours or something like that. Um, for some of you, um, Karma is coming back on this person and now they're like, oh, I shouldn't have done that because I didn't realize karma was going to come back on me so hard. Hello, king of swords in reverse. Yeah, that for some of you, if, if it was an ex, this is that ex energy and that's how the ex feels. The ex doesn't feel regretful of the fact that they did that or they betrayed you. They feel regretful of the fact they got caught or the fact that they are getting karma. But for others of you, it was it's somebody else. There is somebody who's feeling genuine regret about a situation that happened between the two of you. High priest. A king of pentacles. Look. <sighs> a king of pentacles here, okay? A king of pentacles who is a king of swords. No. Okay, so this king of cups in reverse and that king of swords in reverse are the same person this king of pentacles is a completely different person here so yes so this king of cups in reverse is the person that did the manifesting this king of pentacles is also doing manifesting but they're doing manifesting they're manifesting different things there, this person is manifesting a way to walk away from drama, to walk away. Uh, whoever this King of Pentacles is, is learning their lessons. This King of Cups over here is not learning their lessons. Yeah. With the universe, that's the world card in reverse. And that is the 21, right? I did say 21, right? Yeah. 13, 24, 22, 21. Absolutely. Yeah. Stop. okay eight of cups this king of cups over here cannot walk away from something they are unable to emotionally walk away from the fact that something ended between the two of you or the fact that something ended because of you i'm hearing somebody say that ended because of you a four of wands or a house or a home this person could have lost their home they could have lost their their stability okay this person feels like they lost their stability because of you but I really feel like, I really feel like it was just karma that came back on them. This person was wishing ill will on you and that karma came back to them. Now they are still not learning their lessons, like I said, and they are blaming you for the fact that their own ill will came back to them. Whatever. Um, okay. There's that star card. Okay. Page of, oh, no. I almost said page of swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Can you tell me about the Six of Swords, please, Spirit? The Star card. There's healing. Yeah. This person is having healing and it's making them want to walk away from things that, that no longer serve them. Yeah. Because they found out that there was a Two of Cups situation out there for them that with this Caduceus right here, right? That was going to cause healing in their life. And I feel like this person is walking away, walking towards it. Okay. This person is walking away from some kind of Empress in reverse here. Okay. So my, this person, this King of Pentacles, they went through a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. And now they are manifesting healing coming into their life because they're walking away from the person, place, or thing that caused this pain for them. Um, more on the six of swords yes exactly the devil so karmic karmic energy just devil karmic energy 
Yes, and nine of nine of wands. They are learning from this energy. They are learning from from these lessons now. Yeah, they were fighting this higher font energy, right? They were fighting it. World card in reverse. Again, that's twice the world card in reverse, right? Hold up. This King of Cups in reverse right here was one of the people. Oh, was. I'm having the main person, but this other this this person ropes other people into sending negative energy to this King of Pentacles. All right, and that's this devil energy right here. That's the devil chaining, the, the, trying to chain these two people together, trying to chain all these energies together to gang up against this King of Pentacles. I'm hearing. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah. This person is putting in work. This person's working on something. There's something that this King of Pentacles is working on that this uh, King of Cups does not agree with. And I just heard daddy. Daddy, like uh, th this, um, this King of Cups in reverse could be this King of Pentacles father. I'm hearing emotionally unavailable. This somebody is like emotionally unavailable. Yeah. Yeah, that's that King of Cups trying to hold somebody back, right? Trying to hold they are un, they are emotionally unavailable. Uh, they're emotionally unavailable and they're also at the same time so lost in their emotions that they can't there's something emotionally that they cannot let go of. Um I'm hearing unforgettable. I don't know why my chair is suddenly squeaking so loud. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um um Unforget, like unforgivable. Like there is something that this King of Pentacles has done that this King of Cups considers unforgivable and they are unable to let go of it and walk away from it. World card in reverse. And they are like, they. this person is, like I said, refusing to let go of a karmic cycle. And it has to do, and that's the truth. First off, that's the truth. And it has to do with some kind of work, some kind of project or something that this, that this King of Pentacles has decided to work on. What is this that this King of Pentacles has decided to work on, Spirit? Uh, they stood up for themselves. They stood up for themselves. They defended themselves or defended something. They defended something that this... Uh, Something they were confused about or something that either the, the, it's like this King of Cups is like, there's no future there. Like you're stupid. You're throwing your life away. Or you're throwing yourself away. You okay, baby? Throat, with this throat shocker. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was when the seven of uh, seven of wands came up. I was thinking about the, that throat chakra meditation or the throat chakra. Um, check that out, too. Um, yeah, there was definitely a. Uh, but that and that and that, um, the King of Pentacles showed up as the father figure in there that had done something wrong. It, but it's like it's like the son taking the father's place, like the the son acting more grown up than the father, or the you know, what is it like the apprentice out outshining the master. Outgrowing the master, the apprentice becoming the master. I'm also hearing references about how um, lions will like fight each other in like prides and like family groups. Um, the young, like the older lion, like the young lions, at some point end up cha challenging the older lions to take over, to take over like a business or to take. Sorry, I'm kind of mixing it up. Like this person is like taking over something. Yeah, and this person, whoever this king of, uh, king of cups is here, they feel trapped in their mind. Like whatever this is, it's like on re on repeat, playing over and over and over and over and over again in their mind. I really feel like this person, whoever they is, they have some kind of dark energy or entity attachment, um, and it could be uh, jealousy. It could be pride. You know, this person does, does just not want to let go. It's like at some point you have to let your children grow up. And at some point you have to understand that 
other people will take over something. It's like a passing over, a taking over of something where the power is moving on from the older generation to the newer generation. And this old and this this person, this king of cups, does not want to let that happen. I keep hearing somebody say, I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Okay. Look, what did I say? What did I say? <sighs> Page of Pentacles. In, in that in that throat chakra channeled message, right? I was saying that the father showed up as the king of pentacles and the child that we were talking about, the person that stood up and stood up to their father and was like, I no longer care about what you have to say, right? I no longer care about your opinion about these things because they figured out all kind of messed up stuff about their father, right? Um, that person was represented by the page of pentacles, but it's like now this person has grown up from being the page of pentacles to being the king of pentacles because they stood up for themselves. And at the end of that, this king of pentacles became the emperor because they eventually ended up standing up. Eventually, somewhere down the line, they would grow up enough to become this emperor figure. I, it has something to do with the business, I feel like. It has something to do with either money or a business or just power. Yeah. <laughs> so now, so now this, the person, this king of cups in reverse feels like the child, feels like the page of pentacles. And now this other person, it's like a swap. Now this other person feels like the king of pentacles. Now the son feels like a king of pentacles. Look, look. There's that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this person got out of some kind of mirror. Uh, um, yeah, this Queen of Pentacles is no longer here, right? The Queen of Pentacles was, was being represented by the mother figure here. And this Queen of Pentacles is in reverse now. And it's like somebody here. This mother figure might have chosen to side with the, this king of cups, like the father figure here, due to money, due to status, due to keeping things quiet. God, this is so reminding me also of, I talked about that in that reading too, about that um, the karmic mother knew that the child wasn't the divine masculines, right? There is like where the, fa where the mother knew the whole time that the father was cheating and doing all of this other, all this other stuff and that this person knew and it's like you're just as bad as him because you kept this quiet you knew it was happening the whole time about a what the sun card kept coming up about a child right and behind this child i didn't even not see that because these cards were like stuck together but you guys might have saw me be like what greed over greed right this child somebody was using a child to hide the fact that it was really about money right like i said this, king, this queen of pentacles was about money. Now this could have been a this could have been a wife. This could have been a oh. In that oh my gosh, she does. The drama continues. This this is too much. In that reading, it's like the the family unit broke apart. Right, the mother left the father left the father. The son didn't want anything to do with either one of the parents or especially the father figure. And and it was because the son found out that somebody, either his his wife or his, somebody that he was with had been messing around with his father, right? And it's possible that the father then went and married this person that they were cheating on their wife with, cheating on the mom figure with. Because now there's a person here that's this queen of pentacles in reverse who that person was a nine of pentacles in that reading they they were showing up the other woman that was trying to be with the son and with the father was showing up as a nine of pentacles right empress in reverse i'm, I'm telling you somebody got in a relationship with this person <sighs> Either way, either this this reverse 
um, Queen of Pentacles is over here with this King of Pentacles. So either the mother decided to still stay with the father regardless of what he did to the son or this father married that person because of a child. I'm telling you. Because of greed. Because in that reading, it found out that the Divine Masculine or the person who was going to turn into the Divine Masculine was with this person because they thought they had a child with this person to turn but it turns out the father his father was actually the father of the child so the child ended up actually being his brother half brother right and now that all this truth has come out it's like oh my gosh this queen of pentacles has gotten with this father because of this child so either this is still the mother figure siding with the father, staying with the father figure because of money, because of this, because of the child, siding with the father and this child, or this is the, oh my God, this is so calm. But either way, all these people are doing this for money. This feminine energy right here is doing this for money. That's the karmic cycle that this father figure refuses to walk away from. They either refuse to acknowledge the fact that this son, even though that, you know, this child is their, is actually their son and not their grandson. <sighs> this crazy. Six cups. Again. telling you, reconciliation somebody here had a reconciliation they got together it's possible this mother figure this mother figure could have gone back to this father figure that's crazy that is loco tell me tell me more tell me about this that's the, that's the truth though you chill out that's the truth though spirits like it's crazy um i'm hearing truth is stranger than fiction wow Queen, Queen of Pentacles is a page of wands. This Queen of Pentacles is, is hoping for some kind of good news. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. There it is, that death card. This Queen of Pentacles is causing is causing some kind of transformation here. Or this Queen of Pentacles could be a Scorpio. With that death card there. No. Okay. There isn't. Yo. This king of cups better watch out. Especially if he's done married the younger person that he ended up having that child with. That he stole from his son. He better watch out. Because she, she don't care about him, obviously. She cared about the money. He better watch out, is all I'm going to say. Four of cups. Ten of, ten of wands. Also, if this, if this Queen of Pentacles is representing this mother figure, this mother figure, absolutely 100%. Absolutely 100% stayed with her husband. Oh, my God. Either, like, I even after it all came out, they, they stayed with their husband. Because they were too worried about what other people would think to acknowledge the truth. They're too worried about outside perspectives through what, what society think about her getting a divorce from her husband over this child. Quinn and Bankles, she stayed with his ass. For money, for, first off, for money. This is all, all these people are doing all of this for money. I'm trying to pick this back up. Wow. 
Six of Cups. Six of Cups keeps coming out. Um, this Queen of Pentacles and this King of Cups, this figure, this mother, this father figure here, I'm hearing I've been with him for too long. So it's like, maybe these were people that have been each other. This is like a couple that's been married for like 30, 40, 50 years, something like that. They were high school sweethearts. They've been together since they were teenagers. And this, and this mother, this person is just like, why would I leave him? I can't leave. Him. Like, why? Like, where would I go? What would I do? Like, I'm not, I'm not leaving him. That's crazy. There's that page of swords. Tell me about, yeah, with that death card, it's like till death do us part. Like, no, I'm not leaving him. He'd have to leave me. Direction guardian. Let's move forward. Ten of pentacles. Somebody here, this masculine energy now has decided to go towards something long lasting, a ten of pentacles. Tell me else about this direction, guardian. A queen of swords in reverse. Tell me... Oh, I'm trying to pick these up over here. Okay. Tell me about this Queen of Swords in reverse. I'm hearing a negative influence. Influenced a King of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Swords in reverse. A page of swords. Oh my God, there's a whole nother couple here. There's a whole nother couple with a child here. What is going on here? How many families are involved in this? Like, hold up. There's a queen of swords here. That is a king of cup that has a queen of cups. I feel like this is a third party. This queen of cups is a third party in the situation here. Oh my god, this is so complicated. I'm having a hard time. Like, ooh, the story is so it's like a maze. Tell me, what's going on here in this family? What's going on here between this king and queen of swords? <laughs> Gosh. The nine of pentacles and the lover's card. This queen of swords is choosing the direction that they're going in is choosing their family. They're trying to influence a king of swords to stay because of a child. Or they, this king of swords is bringing forward some kind of information to this queen of swords about a third party situation here, okay? About somebody who is independent on the side and could be a, lo a possible lover for somebody that this queen of swords is attached to probably... I feel, ooh, I'm hearing investigator. I feel like this king, this king of swords is representing an investigator that's been, or like a private investigator that's been investigating a queen of cups here who this queen of swords in reverse sees as a third party, a third party person who's independent and beautiful, being on their own, doing their own thing. But they are, but they are a possible lover Either they, they are seen, this king, this queen of swords sees this person as a third party interference to their relationship. But I feel like this queen of cups is the actual partner that whoever this queen of swords in reverse is seeing as 
their partner, this, whoever this queen of cups is, is who this person is actually really supposed to be with. What is this? Ace of wands in reverse. And this person is trying to, to stop some kind of new passionate beginning happening between whoever, whoever this queen of swords is and who, no, who is, look, queen of swords on the back. Wow. And the death card sticking out there. Oh, we. Um. This queen of swords is in reverse. This person's a liar. And this person is somebody who's stepping over their bounds. They're doing something inappropriate. They're doing something inappropriate by hiring this investigator. And they're telling this investigator to snoop on whoever this queen of cups is. Who is the person that this queen of pentacles, oh, this, sorry, not queen of pentacles. They could be the queen of pentacles. But who is this person that queen of swords feels like, you know, is their mate? Who is this person that they are with that they feel like who this queen of cups is trying to take from them? Because they feel like this queen of cups is trying to take somebody from them. Tower in reverse, did I not just say that? They're like, this queen of cups is trying to end my marriage or trying to end my relationship trying to leave me left out in the cold, okay? Because they're in a relationship with somebody here. It's a king. They have a child here with somebody. This person is trying to walk away. They are trying to stop this person. This person, this king of, this person could be hiring a private investigator or they could be hiring like tarot readers or something like that to tell them about, to snoop on this person, on this queen of cups person here. Oh, they could be they could be trying to find some kind of way to lock, um, to 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 catch this Queen of Cups in a trap. That's what I'm hearing. To catch this Queen of Cups in a trap, or keep them locked in their minds, focused on something else instead of focus focused on going towards the person they're actually supposed to be in a relationship with. They could be trying to find something to get them locked up over Death card. Oh my gosh. They're trying to bring an end to this person. They're trying to cause a, a major tower moment and bring an end. They could literally be trying to, yes, with a world card. They're trying to keep this person trapped, keep this person from developing or keep this person from evolving, right? They're the nine, they're the nine of pentacles. This person could be, uh, this queen of cups could be somebody that's going to develop into an empress. And this queen of swords in reverse is trying to keep this person from transforming and, and becoming this empress. They're trying to stop them. It's like, um... It's like this competitive nature, like we were talking about with this King of Cups, right? Like this King of Cups and this King of Pentacles are having like this power struggle because one's trying to rise up uh, and become like the other. It's, oh, you know what it's reminding me of? I literally just heard it. Did you guys watch American Horror Story? It's like the Supreme, like the next Supreme will rise up. The next powerful Empress will rise up. And this Queen of Swords is trying to stop this Nine of Pentacles, this Queen of Cups from becoming the next Empress or becoming the next Supreme. Like that, like, that's crazy. That's what it's reminding me. That's what I'm literally hearing in my mind. And the same thing is happening here between this queen, this king of cups and this king of pentacles. There's this power struggle here and this, and this masculine energy is trying to stop this, this other masculine energy from rising up and taking over. I'm hearing a family business though. This, this king of pentacles and this queen of cups might be supposed to be in a relationship together and there's like two separate energies that are trying to keep these people from evolving probably towards each other wow yes what did i just say five of swords they see these people as competition they want to cause defeat to these people they're like i will do anything to win over these people they they see this queen of cups and this king of pinnacles as competition. That's crazy. There, there's this real competitive vibe that they have that they're trying to stop. They're trying to find ways to stop these people, to stop these people. This, this queen of swords right here literally might be trying to find ways to get this queen of cups like thrown in jail, right? They might be trying to get some kind of investigator or something for... 
that 444. This person is being protected though, but I said it was 441 when I first looked up to the clock. But this could be what, remember what I said in the very, very beginning of this, that somebody was manifesting some kind of betrayal. This is the betrayal that they're trying to manifest. Yeah, but the clouds of confusion are ending. What? Yeah, because the judgment card is, is coming out here. These two people are walking down their divine path towards each other. It is divinely ordained that these two people would come together. And that this page of, of wands keeps coming out over here for this, keeps showing itself over here. And it's for this king of cups. This king of cups over here is waiting for some kind of good news. It could be this investigation to come in. What? I'm hearing, and I'm hearing an older man's voice or like a just, you know, it doesn't have to be elderly man just an older man's voice that's trying that says oh you think you can trust her you think you can trust her did you know this about her uh six of cups walking away look this masculine energy over here is walking away six of cups from the drama right and this feminine energy over here this queen of cups sorry i was getting another download this queen of cups who eventually is supposed to become the queen of pentacles and be in a relationship or be in some kind of partnership with this king of pentacles right that's why they're the nine of pentacles right now but they just have to go up to the ten of pentacles which is what this person this queen of swords is trying to keep away from this person the, the Ten of Pentacles to become, so in order so this person can become the Queen of Pentacles and be a match to this King of Pentacles. And in both of these, yeah, the, fuck, the fuck, Four of Cups just keeps coming out for this King of Cups. Like they just won't let something go, right? There's like a this third party situation here, this what will people think? What will society think? This generation, right? This letting go of this generational, you know, this ancestral patterns is what these two people are refusing to do. They're not, it's, it's like they refuse to let the next, like the next generation come up. They're like, no, I won't let go of my power. There's so, I'm sorry, you got it. There's so much information here. Also, there's something here. There is a scratch here on my table that I'm noticing. Like, I just noticed right now that it's caught because it's like three scratch lines. I'm like, oh, my cat scratched my table. And then I heard cat scratch fever. So that could apply to somebody out there. I keep hearing that cat scratch, cat scratch. That came up before in one of these other readings. And somebody said, oh my gosh, yes, I do actually have a cat scratch on the back of my left hand. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. But... There's something here about a cat scratch that's significant here. I'm not I'm not sure, but that things about that keep coming up in this reading. So I'm also being reminded of the the reading that I did about getting receiving messages from the panther gods. I did that reading. And somewhere in that, I just heard there's somebody 
that tried to curse somebody using some kind of cat scratch um, revenge curse of the panther or something like that. Somebody tried to curse somebody here with some really, really old magic. Very, very, very old magic. I don't know anything about that, but I just got that download. So if you know that somebody and you're in the past and your family, or you know that a karmic that you know has something to do with you, because I'm getting like imagery of like jung like jungle imagery, tribal, like indigenous people imagery, like jungle imagery is what I'm getting. I'm also getting that somebody did not realize. Somebody did not realize that somebody is being protected by like a panther spirit. And they tried to use that same energy to like curse that person. But it's like this person didn't understand that this person has received the mark of protection from the panther gods or from the panther spirit. I know that's a little out there and that message is not going to apply to everyone. You know, there's somebody out there um, that they're going to receive that. But there's somebody out there that has indigenous like... perhaps like Mayan or Incan or something like that. They've lived a lifetime where they were a priestess or a, pre or a priest or something like that back there in that time. And that person has the protection because of the, because of what they did in that lifetime, they have the protection from the Panther God. They've received the mark of protection from this Panther God. And now what this karmic energy didn't understand is they tried to manifest that same energy to hurt this person. And it's like, no, no. It's like the Panther God was like, you want me to go, uh, to go, you want me to go attack one of my high priestess? Like, no, that's not how it works, baby doll. I'm literally hearing like a spirit go, ha ha, you thought, oh wow. Y'all, I just saw, on my front porch, I just saw a hummingbird. I also saw a, a, a butterfly, a yellow butterfly, which is about, which is about transforming through happiness, spiritual awakening. So I'm seeing a lot right now. Oh my God, I just saw another one. I just saw another yellow butterfly. Confirmation for that. Sorry, you guys, I'm getting so, like, this just went so deep. I just got so much information that I'm tapping into here. This grandmother energy that I was talking about earlier, this grandmother energy could be a past spirit that came here to protect this person. And it's like I'm hearing somebody, that they're speaking in a language that I, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Come forward, O oh spirits of protection. Whoever this grandmother spirit is that's around this person has has done some kind of like spell from the spirit world to counteract whatever this curse was that this person came forward to give this person. I did research on this. Hold on, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to bring this up because I'm hearing black mirror, like a like a um, an onyx mirror. The the ink is it ink? I'm so sorry. It could be Aztec, Black Panther God. I will not try to pronounce his name because I can't. But he had a brother. One was a Black Panther. One was a a white, a different color, like a traditional colored panther. But there was, and it's like, 
there were two brothers that are like the creation gods. I could be totally mixing that up. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I just keep getting that. Like you did not understand that whatever spirits you tried to use to, a, to attack this person, those spirits stand with this person. Going back so many generations. <laughs> um, sorry, like these ancestors are just cackling at this person. Like they're just like, you fool. Like you thought, you thought that because this person wasn't of the same race as you. You did not realize that this person could have blood that came from that. You did not realize that this person could have ancestry. Whoever this karmic energy is did not realize. It's like maybe perhaps they don't believe in like past lives or they don't understand the depth of how far it goes. It's like they're a karmic, so they can't understand a person having past lives and sacrificing everything devoting their whole entire lives to a god or to to the worship of this god or this goddess and when you do that that god or that goddess comes back in in your in your lifetimes after that to protect you you know when you do things like that when you did this person whoever this person was that this person tried to attack Okay, and it's this Queen of Cups energy here. Okay, this Queen of Cups energy in a past life has been a priest or a priestess and they devoted their entire lives to worshiping this god or this goddess, this this energy. And they gave, they did, they did some kind of massive sacrifice. And it's like, you sacrificed in this lifetime. So we are coming back and we are protecting you. And like, who... Whoever this karmic energy or whoever this queen of swords was, they did not understand, right? They call it, It's like they called on the same gods and goddesses to attack this person that stand beside them, that protect them. It's like, you didn't do your fucking research. Like, you did not do any kind of research about this at all. Like, if you were any kind of energy sensitive, you would have understood. Wow, that was just like a massive message out there to somebody who needed to hear that, okay? Anyway... Wow, that was a massive download, you guys. Like, holy crap, that took up like so much time of the reading. I'm sorry, but somebody out there needed to hear that. So I'm going to keep it in because it meant something, okay? It meant something or it's going to inspire somebody to do some actual research and know what the hell they're doing before they just start randomly trying to call on random gods and goddesses to curse people. Um, you should do your research first, boo. Because sometimes people are actually protected by those same gods and goddesses that you try to call to attack them. And those gods and goddesses, they don't, fuck with you they fuck with this other person they they're like we you know oh oh my gosh this is so deep whoever this karmic energy whoever this queen of swords energy is right here they come from a cursed family line where this god and goddesses they do not they do not mess with them and they don't mess with their ancestors and they damn sure don't mess with them They're like, how dare you invoke my name to attack one of my own children? This, oh, they're mad. They're pissed. Oh, I'd be, sis, I'd be mad. Sis, I'd be mad. Somebody here, somebody here was in controlling ass, um, dark masculine energy. This could have been this entity attachment that this person has. This person has created some kind of entity attachment for themselves because they tried to curse somebody else and they didn't realize that the same gods they were asking to curse that person are the people that protect that person. So those people just said, oh, I don't think so. Here, take this instead. And they gave that person some kind of energy attachment. That's why you just don't dibble and dabble in things you don't know what the hell you're doing. Anyway, I'm, I'm talking all this shit like while I'm just like, oh, I, I, cook, uh, I don't know the... <laughs> I got to laugh at myself, you guys, okay? Because I got too sassy. So, sometimes sometimes it's me speaking and sometimes it's my spirit guys getting the super sassiness, okay? But, you know, 
It is what it is. Uh, page of swords. Like, I'm just the messenger here. I'm the messenger here Some sometimes. Some, so, okay, look. That might not apply to your situation. It might apply to somebody else's situation. I'm telling you, like, somebody here... Somebody here, exactly. Somebody here was trying to be shysty. They were trying to be shifty. They were trying to do things that they knew nothing about. You speak of things you know nothing about. It's hard. So, okay. This wants to be out. Yes. You're trying to do sneaky stuff. Your ancestors see you. You're trying to do sneaky stuff. Their ancestors see you. Okay. They see the intent that's behind what the, what, what the hell you're trying to do here. I'm at an hour and I'm not even halfway through this. This is crazy. I might have to do a part two on this. Yeah. There is an emperor energy here, okay? Somebody that's trying to become an emperor energy, but there's some kind there's something here with this. There's some lesson that this person is not learning. Yo, somebody's ancestors are mad they just keep saying how dare you how dare you invoke me how dare you invoke me you are not even worth speaking my name oh my gosh you're like spitting and everything like they are mad mad how dare you how dare you my name does not even deserve to come out of your lips do not even form breath to form my name do not speak of me do not speak to me Somebody's mad. Somebody's mad, 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 mad. So mad. And they're like, you don't learn. You don't learn. You're going to learn this lifetime. Ooh. This is a karmic energy that's come for this person before. In a past. In the past, this car whoever this karmic energy has come for this energy before. And their ancestors are like, we're so over this. We're so done with you. It was 44 seconds on the clock when I said that. Hunty. Hunty. Wow. Mm. You don't learn, you're going to learn. You are going to learn. Wow. Heart, heart guardian. Yeah. Hate that page of wands again. Page of wands with the seven of wands. Somebody here is hoping to get some kind of good news that it's like they're waiting for some kind of defense to come for them. They're waiting for... They're hoping to get good news that somebody will choose them or pick their side. But I don't think that's coming. That death card keeps showing itself. This death card is coming over here for the for this. Yo. This King of Cups better hope that they didn't try to do something, that they weren't wishing this on somebody, okay? You better hope you wasn't wishing this on somebody, King of Cups. Cause. It, I swear. This is what happens when you dibble and dabble in black magic. It comes back. That's why you don't do it. That's why you don't do that shit. Because it's all trickery. The black magic is all trickery. It's all trying to trick you to do these things so that those things can happen to yourself. Okay? Because it might work when people aren't aware. Right. It might work on people who don't know anything about the spiritual community, on people who aren't awoke, awakened, who people who don't have powerful as hell ancestors protecting them. But then you go after somebody that does honey and every single dark magic spell that you have put out, whatever negative energy that you have put out on everybody else will come back on you all at once. Somebody contacted here. A queen of wands in reverse, a dark priestess here to do some kind of ritual magic on this queen of cups. They did.
And that's what they're waiting. They're waiting to hear the good news that this Queen of Cups is no longer with us. To them, it would be good news. Yeah. Five of Swords, because again, they see this person, they see, they see whatever this person is doing as their competition. Right? It's also this need for, for this person here to call in some kind of protection. What did I say? They did not want this person to become an empress. They did not want this person to become an empress. Go. Oh. That's crazy. One of my friends is like blowing up my phone and I have 23 messages from her. That's crazy, right? Because the numbers that I said were significant were 21, 22, and 24. Then she pops up with the 23. I told you, somebody here is getting 10 wands. For interfering. For interfering here. For being a third party situation here. For gathering under the moon and trying to do dark sorcery. To this empress. Trying to cause a three of swords moment here. Three of swords. One, two, three. Three betrayals. Three swords in the heart. Trying to... Trying... Putting in that work, eight of cup, not eight of cups, but eight of pinnacles, trying to put in that work on this person. Trying to do something to them while this person slept at night. Four, four of swords here. And it looks here like in the imagery in this, it looks like something is trying to like wrap around this person's throat. Here, see? So at night, while this person slept, these people were trying to, to do things to this person, to this feminine energy here. Putting in work, like I said. Ju judgment, while this person slept. Look at that, the sleepers. While this person slept. But what these people didn't understand is, look, while they were sleeping, trying to attack this person. Guess who sees all? The one above. The one in light. Right? That's the angel, right? The angel's here. Seeing what the, what all these people are trying to do. The light. The one above seeing, all, seeing everything that these people are trying to do. And who they truly are. Wow. All right, y'all. I'm going to take... I'm going to take this over to part two now, okay? Um, Y'all, please go check that out. I'm sure I'll have that linked around. Um, this was a really crazy reading. Um, I don't know who all is going to really vibe with some of the other deeper things that I was talking about, okay? Um, with some of the ancestral things that I was talking about. I don't know who's, there, you know, that specific, right? Those specific gods and goddesses that I was talking about might not vibe with everybody but i do feel like i know there's a lot of you out there who feel like you're trying to become the empress who, or you're trying to become the emperor right and you guys have people using dark magic against you okay so if you feel that way please go check out part two if this resonated with you please go check out part two okay um i'll link it around all right um, and I will see you guys over in part two. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you're not subscribed and this resonated, think about subscribing. Think about sticking around for part two. Okay. I'll be releasing that as well. I'm about to film it right now as soon as I stop filming this. Okay. And yeah, if you are subscribed, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for subscribing. Like I said, if this resonates with you, go ahead and watch that as well, okay? And I will see you in part two. Or if this doesn't resonate with you, hopefully I'll see you in another video, okay? Bye.